I've mentioned before that the videos I most enjoy creating are those heavily scripted ones. Those laden paragraphs of parlays and puns which I pour out before you in some way or another exhibit writings which I have wrought. I've twisted language to its creaking breaking points and in some warped cross between poetry and essay I argue myself into spoken word. And there's a lot of things I want to write. The quickest of peeks at but a handful of recent writs will acquaint you with an essay on the mythification of evil as illustrated through the latest Star Wars movie. A rousing treaty aimed at boistering those intimidated by the book industry and its big and a very off-the-wall attempt to consider grief through stories about flowers. All of these scripts are things I want to do, but they will take time. The way I view my videos are that the topics aren't really the important parts. I am very happy to, on the surface, be talking about Star Wars villains or bunched bouquets of begonias as bequeathed unto me in a Sainsbury's car park, as long as those diaphanous topics are actually springboards to artfully construct card houses of glorious words. I have always said that I am happy to make videos about any old rubbish, as long as I am talking about such rubbish in interesting ways. And there's no way for me to avoid this taking time. If I was a daily uploader, these couldn't be the kind of videos I made, at least not exclusively. These videos take more than eight hours to make, it is as simple as that. And some days it just doesn't work. I can sit there at my laptop desperately scratching out letter after painful letter and it just doesn't work. It doesn't flow, it doesn't beat the right rhythm. I push wrists against table, uncurl the hunch of my back, blink at my screen from a relative distance and realise all I have created today is disaster. But a part of me has always wondered whether this should be the only stuff I create. What if I did make more popular videos, or more videos in general? Would I not have the time to work on the more important videos? Or would I be burying the content I actually like? Would I annoy subscribers who've come to expect one thing from me and suddenly get another? Or would I double my audience for videos more lyrical as well as those more run-of-the-mill? Would I find renewed vigour to create videos across the spectrum by splitting my mind between different, varied topics? Would I learn to be less of a ridiculous perfectionist, literally delaying uploads sometimes for months because I can't decide whether this frame should be included or not, or whether this many essed sentence should finish with the word saccharin or sickly. I've looked over at vlog everyday months and wondered if I could do them and what the product of them would actually be. Maybe now is a good excuse to. There are less intense videos I've toyed with the idea of, more traditionally booktube-ish content, quick response videos to what others are producing, and I've always felt guilty that ages and ages ago I promised bookshelf tours that never came to fruition. I've also always been tempted to play at being an audiobook narrator and take an out of copyright book and simply read it to you. So hello audience, how are you doing out there? What are you interested in seeing? Would you prefer less content and me staying in my lane? Or would you be interested in at least a short period of daily upload-ish fare? As I scroll through the never-ending list of half-started scripts, I do kind of think that something that put the pressure on me to upload more, things that aren't necessarily 100% perfect, it might not be a bad idea. Because a few mistakes, a few sentences that could be a bit more musical, that's nothing if the alternative is not getting them out there at all. While you're here, I am still trying to push my channel over the arbitrary watch time mark before YouTube comes for its small time partners in that dreaded date in February. If you fancy sharing my channel with friends, I've made a playlist of my favorite videos that I've created. They might be different to your favorite ones. Be interesting to see. I've linked that down below. It involves a lot of stress and Oxford and bemoaning of good literature. Enjoy. I have also now created a Patreon. If you want to give anything towards my channel's upkeep, that would be amazing. I'm going to have a think about something special I can specifically create for viewers there as well. Anyway, let me know what you'd like to see from me in the comments down below and we can have a chat. Other than that, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.
Hello dearest viewers who kindly use what free time your busy eyes have on my prattling YouTube videos. Today I found out I am being kicked off the YouTube partnership program.